this part contains strong language, sexual scenes and references from the beginning and throughout. Show, show, I'm not going to argue with that. No. No? No. Good. No. Good. I think we're going to be civil tonight. I want to. I didn't yeah. want to argue last time. I didn't want to either. Eh? You didn't want to argue with us last time. Are you having a fucking laugh? You were swinging for us the minute you walked through the door. I didn't expect it. Yeah. I didn't, but it's happened. Yeah. And obviously, like, I'm listening to what you've said and stuff, and I, I don't want any badness between us. Like, I, I like you, I respect you, I think yeah. you're a lovely girl, and I'd love to just, like, enjoy this place with you. What the fuck am I going on about? All I know is I've got to be as nice as possible so that Roxy doesn't kick off. Yeah. Maybe so I should have been, been there a, a bit more and been, like, yeah. other things maybe a little bit different. James! <laughs> you know I'm not a bad guy. I'm not. Yeah, but you've definitely taken a different perspective, and, like, yeah. I appreciate that, and then I feel like now that we've got it out in the air, we could just, like, be friends. Yeah, good. Do you have a cuddle? Yeah. It's about, let's hang it out, right? We're all right. Do you want a drink? Yeah. Go and get a drink. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. I'm glad everything's been sorted out with Roxy. I would hate to leave things on bad terms. But Kyle, on the other hand, he didn't help the situation at all. The little fucking prick. You were such a bastard. I've enjoyed this time with you more than anyone Hello. else I've met in Jordy Shaw. It's Same. been fun. To us, James. To the bastards. To the bastards. I'm on the decks and fucking loving life. And I look over and Jay's chatting to Zahida. It is just like the good old days. People think that I'm a lad, lad, and I've just got a fucking heart and a fucking stone or rock. And I, I, I don't, you know what I mean? I do like Zahida, but let's go over the floor, see how things go. Wait, I've got a serious question. Right, how are you? Who do you fancy tonight? You're looking smoking, not gonna lie. You're but, looking smoking. Who else? What do you mean? Who else? Who else? What do you mean? Everybody looks good. Yeah, but who, who, who do you fancy the most? You. Is it? Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Sounds like Chantelle is truly out of the picture. It's a shame we've only had this little bit of time together. Do you reckon you would take us on a date? I would take you on a date. Would you? Let's do it. I would want to, you. I know you would, because you just asked us. <laughs> Are we doing hot tub again tonight? Hot tub, hot tub. But I couldn't miss this last reunion party, and I mean, who are I am family. I'm really looking forward to seeing Louis and Abby, but if I'm being honest, I'm a little bit anxious about seeing some of the others, especially Chloe and Nathan. Leave it. It came. Ant's fucking here. Hey, oh, Ant's just rocked up. Now I know the conversation is about to happen. Hey, oh, come here. Big thing he's come back in. I didn't think you were coming back. It's good to see him. He looks fucking mint. But deep down, I know that it took a lot for him to be here. I'm so proud of him. Go on, go get my cuddle. 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 <laughs> you know me, man. Let me fucking roar again. I feel like I'm shaking, man. I've missed my boy. <laughs> Who else wants a hug, then? Both of them. 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 Both
break up, I was losing my dad. Like, I think you'll understand it. We should just do it now, do you not think? Chloe is right, and I'm not going to waste any time. I'm grabbing him, and I'm getting him outside and getting this done. Um, and can I speak can to we you? Can outside? I'm absolutely buzzing to be back in the house, back with my boy Louie, and before you know it, Chloe and Nathan come up to us in the one hour chat. Where are we going? You are to bear with me. But I know it's a conversation that needs to be had. Don't you know that you gotta How are you? I've um, spent the last four weeks drinking through a straw. <laughs> there was an incident when we were all away, and I ended up in hospital with a broken jaw. Louie and Abby were both there for us, but Chloe and Nathan, they never came to see us once, even though they were pretty much staying down the road. At first, if I'm being honest, I was more angry. I was like, are these guys that I thought I'd been friends with for the past three years? I was like, it's all fucking, it's all a load of shite. That's how I felt. Yeah. I, was, I was pretty, yeah. I was pretty, uh, of course, that's understandable. I was pretty angry uh, for the first couple of weeks. And then afterwards, I was just more disappointed than how else, really. Since I've got home, I've kept myself to myself. I can't be honest for putting my time and effort into people that don't fucking deserve it. We've got loads of people hanging around with that you think are your friends, and then when something bad happens to you, you realise who your mates are. I get, listen, I get you've all got things going on in your own lives, and I even split up with your fella. Your head was probably all over the shop, and then, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not like, fuck me, I've been attacked, I'm in hospital, I've had an operation. And I, it's not, I know the world doesn't revolve about around me, but in that time, in that moment, I'd, 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 I'd like to talk. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and deny anything. I should have been there. I'm not going to sit here and get all defensive as to why I wasn't there for Ant. At the end of the day, he was one of my best friends, and he did go through a traumatic experience, and I should have been there for him a lot more than what I was. I know I fucked up. I was a shit friend in that moment, and I should have been there for you. And I genuinely, 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 genuinely am sorry that I wasn't there. Yeah, and say the same for me. Listen, honestly, Anthony, I love you so much, and I hate that you felt that sort of way that I didn't care about you. You know what? That's all I wanted to hear from them. Sorry that I wasn't there for you. Yeah. My jaw's better, and I've moved on. I just wanted them to realise and admit they win the wrong, and that they were sorry. That's all right. I'll give you a hug. Go on. It feels so good making up with Anthony, and I'm so happy he's accepted me apology, and now we can move on. I'm so happy they've made up. The family are back together once again. <laughs> now I can relax and have a few more drinks and finally enjoy the final night.